All right, here is my pleasure. Very excited to go over the DFS XFL, particularly for DraftKings. Schedule here we need to look at. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we can get you all some uh, help besides just the obvious plays. Uh, because the XFL is really cool with the guys that uh, haven't made it in the NFL and they will look to get a second chance and things like that. Storylines. What I like this week here is that um, Jerry Glanville, the defensive coordinator for the Vipers, is playing versus uh, the guy that is uh, uh, sort of a rival with the rift that happened there with June Jones for Houston. So when we look at um, the schedule this week starting, with these teams here, just want to be at the right spot. Um, I was looking at the um, Tampa Bay Vipers uh, defense because uh, the defense did better than the offense the past couple weeks. We didn't get a, I don't think, double digit scoring from the Vipers at all. Uh, check that. Um, yeah, just three points week one. And nine points week two. So we're not looking at uh, expecting anything great as far as this game is concerned. Uh, it is in Tampa. If that were to help, I don't think so. Versus the Houston Roughnecks, probably the best team. Uh, if not, the D.C. Defenders, the best team in the league. So, um, yeah, Houston is um, running some nice um, uh, plays when they get um, Cardell Jones. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong team. Uh, the Houston Roughnecks. Um, with Phillips, sorry, Walker, uh, Walker to Phillips, actually, that's a great connection. That's obvious. That's going to be high priced on um, DFS for DraftKings this week uh, versus this Vipers defense. Try to stop that combo, right? So um, we want to look at um, things that's going on here. Like we got a playlist, um, some action there, you know, from the previous week to um, – Analyze it and then always look over here to um, your YouTube highlights and see what you can find as far as what you may notice. If you find more um, full game highlights, let me know. It'd be great um, where to find those or things like that. Maybe they're right on here. I just haven't looked hard enough yet. But I'm analyzing and looking at it throughout the week and uh, looking up guys such as this as a reminder as who these guys are. As I'm familiar with from um, years ago, but sometimes you need a refresher here or there. And I just updated here on WealthyFantasyFootball.com, put my notes in there. Um, here's a particular tool I didn't find so useful this week, but that I use regularly anyways is the Draft Dashboard. You just come up here, if you get it, click on XFL. And then for this, it's still in last week, hasn't updated, uh, shows their projection, scoring, salary, and the value. So at least you can compare those couple of factors, maybe more be added on, and you can click on by position, even including the defense. So you got some information there. I found last week that I didn't wasn't overly concerned with that. It didn't do as well as I uh, liked overall, but I'm not playing in a whole lot of, um, you know, 50 50 double up scenarios. Uh, I'm going to focus more on the uh gpp or tournament scenarios with all these different things you know players running in and out injuries all kinds of things going on in the league so i want to focus on that instead of um those scenarios because um it's things pretty much shake out you know you got um your unexpectancies in the league still and everything going on so um yeah so i didn't find it much helpful to look at the value because it's not like you're trying to stack up players and like, you know, regular DFS, NBA or NFL, whatever it is, you know, the players salaries from week to week, they don't change here. It fluctu it's fluctuating a lot so far. I haven't really seen the salaries yet, but um, I was not being overly concerned at all about the value because I could pretty much put whoever I wanted, regardless of value in the lineup. So I was just trying to look for the highest scoring players overall. That may or may not be the case this week. I don't know. Since we've got two year two years. Yeah. Two weeks of film and stats to look at here. So continue looking at um, throughout the week, all the stats and everything, and um, providing some more um, sheets here. That is spreadsheets, of course, we're always big on. You just go over here to the Army Nation, and then you look over to
Uh, it's right here, XFL, cheat sheets to get more um, specific breakdown of our notes and recommendations for every type of contest that you enter there. So just trying to set you up on the right track on how to do this here, you know, looking at the coordinators uh, for the Vipers. And of course, they're very uh, getting back to the matchup to finish up. The game is, is going to be uh, expected to be a blowout, even though in Tampa, um, as far as what we're looking at expecting. And uh, keep on riding, you know, Houston um, as they um, had some awesome players with some awesome stats, dual threat quarterback. Uh, I'm just very excited about it. So um, that's the first game at 2 a.m. You can find it on um, ABC. You can find it on YouTube a lot of times, streaming streaming live, I found out already as well. So, um, you know, once this becomes a blowout or expected as a game script, very important scripted out, um, that you can expect, you know, the same type of things is going to happen. Um, this is a closer game, though, um, right here. So maybe going back to, as an example, better example, uh, what happened here against Seattle was a... Uh, Pulled out 31 to 19. So um, and even the running backs, I noticed they changing. Uh, they are changing from week to week. It's going to be very tricky, you, you know, as you think of a fantasy football, especially NFL. The running back position and, and running backs being solid as far as relying on. Can't really do that in this league, such a passing league. And the changing of the guard of running back. So maybe, of course, they'll try to run out there. The guy had a really successful week. But it's kind of like a preseason scenario as well that um, different guys are going to be in there at different times and so forth and substitutions. So, um, so yeah, I'll just keep doing a little bit more research on that as well as myself I'll do and um, see what we, you know, get out of that. Because I'm um, looking here, like, um, as I was saying, with this um, particular game, the offense, what they did in week one, that is, um, whoops, won the wrong team here. Houston, 37 to 17. That was the blowout. Getting used to the teams and the, the colors, as some of them are similar with the Reds. Um, to not get them mixed up. But Houston, you know, did run out this guy, Butler, in week one, you know, trying to finish a game up and run the ball um, with this guy here. Am I correct? Yes, Butler, nine carries. And then, you know, you just want to know what happened in week two, whether they kept giving the ball to this guy or not. Um, I'm going to look here for you. The Houston Roughnecks in the 28 to 24 score, closer than I thought it would be, you know, than I expected and higher scoring, at, um, not as anticipated, you know, went the over on that particular matchup. Um, just want to see who, real quick, with you, who had the uh, most carries in the team. The particular week of week two here, real quick. Or the, uh, or the bottlenecks, or no, the roughnecks. So, um, once again, it was Butler. Not a whole lot of carries, though. Um, so, as you see here, interestingly, though, not even involved, uh, a little bit involved, rather, in the passing game. Two targets, two receptions. So, um, that's what you're going to get. You got Andre Williams. He was back from the Giants. Um, five carries, 12 yards, not much production there. So, don't expect anything out of that running game for the Rough next, even when they're perhaps ahead, you know, they will probably go give the ball more. The Butler, this is the only team that probably stays with that plan as far as who they're going to. All right, leaving you with that here for today with the matchup. It's a good one, even though um, we expect that blowout. And I'll talk to you for the next um, matchup video.